What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So we're playing Risky Souls. Walking around with uh, 90,000 souls at the moment. Because I forgot that after you talk to her, she warps and I can't spend them. But anyway, uh, so we're going to head on over here. And we are going to go and get our thingy. These dudes can just follow me for all I care. Die. I need to like gather them all up, like gather every one of them up in the one big, big group here. Out of my way. Everything must die. We got like two boss fights. Well, we could do the pure black tendency stuff, but that would require a lot of, uh, a lot of just chain dying over and over again. You're in my way. You're also in my way. Smash you. Up. The old king. Thou who seekest the king's sword, I am the old king. Show me thy strength and the power of thy souls. Beefier than I thought he'd be. Hey, buddy, you're on fire. Was his AI always this dumb? Like, he's not really fighting back. He just, he's just being a, a human pancake. swing I think we aggroed him. Why is he? We, we clearly bugged something out. Now, is he normal again? So, what happens if we. Can we actually kill him? Drops the following of killed. Ancient King's armor. Well, I mean, he was really angry. I feel like we might as well kill him. I want your armor. Let's finish what I started. Really, you're not gonna fight back or anything? You're just gonna sit here and let me pancake your ass over and over again? challenge me. 
Holy shit. Full healed on me. There's gotta be something better I can do here. This dude is not. Hang on a second. Didn't he give me. Less demonic to soul. Alright, now I am. Oh! Oh, oh god, no. Oh no, I'm stuck on the door. Oh god. So, my character's pure black, so I need the one from the final boss to do any damage with it. Can I parry this thing when you're two-handing it? I'm like scared to try. Holy shit, he hit so hard. Yeah, I feel like this would take ages. He's not like consistently attacking, he just does like little one off attacks. And when he does, they're most of my health. Oh man, that's two partial parries in a row. I don't think I can actually kill this guy. Like, he hits so hard. Yeah, no, you know what? You're, we're, no, nope, 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 nope. Goodbye. Nice meeting you. How far will he follow? Like, how are you supposed to... You need to, like, chain backstab this dude or something. Rotten arrows. Maybe we can poison him? I feel like he's immune to poison. I feel like if we could poison him, we would have poisoned him by now. Oh, this guy has monstrous health. Try something extra cheeky here. Have cheese. I didn't get far enough that he loses aggro as a thief. Know if this is gonna be worth it. We've been at this for 10 minutes and we have tickled this man's health. Like, is his armor good at least? Let me see what he drops exactly. So, the Eternal Warrior Ring increases stam regeneration by 12 per second. Yo, I want that. 
I do want that. And the Ancient King's armor is just uh, a dope looking armor set. I mainly want his ring. Come this far, we're about halfway done. We're gonna finish this. You know, if I get him, I'm gonna let him go a little bit farther. I'm going to abuse the bridge. And then I might not have to run as far. Because it seems like it's a leash distance. So if I let him walk like the full length of the bridge and then backstab him, maybe I can just sprint back. Instead of like sprint and turn in the corner. Looked like he was gonna come in, but he didn't. Oh shit, I gotta wait though. I'm gonna wait for him to do that again. Oh god, no. I figured I'd add a little R2 into there for some flavor. That was not worth it at all. far enough. Oh wow, we're doing 113 now as opposed to 100. That's a- Oh no! Oh my god, bro! Oh, I can't help but laugh at that, holy shit! Oh. Oh man. Oh wow, that was uh that was embarrassing. Wow. Wow. I'm uh I'm not getting my ring, I don't think. And um you know <laughs> as as upset as that makes me, I, d I don't think I have any route right to be mad. Uh, I think that that's he he earned that victory. I think the fight's over. I think I just go back, I grab my souls, and I take the L, because I cheesed my man for about ten minutes, and he turned around, and he said, "No, you." And that was it. I just, uh, yeah. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, I could, I could try and do the hyper strat, where, like, I'd use, uh... Use the Morian and the Clever Ring and get our health down to 30%. And then once our health is down... Uh, then we would do backstabs hitting harder, but... I think I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna take my souls and I'm gonna go... We're, we're gonna wrap this up. I mean, God, how much health does he have? Let me see if there's any anything on him. Health. HP. Two... Two, four, four, six. Oh. So that's what, 20? I'd have to do roughly 
25 backstabs to get him. I feel like I need, like, I want to kill him. He doesn't drop a demon soul. Let me read through this. Um, basic melee for his first 25 to 50 percent. He'll wield a sword. Um, blah, blah, blah. Um, you can get another. Becomes becomes hostile again. Come back and he'll remain hostile. This works well with meat cleaver, dragon bone smasher. Make sure you have enough stamina to swing the weapon three times in a row. Use the knockback effect, or I'll be thrown by the third swing. This will give you time for your stamina to replenish or heal. The long blade should enable you to stay out of his range. But never uses heal when disengaged, so provided he gives chase. I mean, let me try that real fast. Thing is, if I could spend all these souls, I'd probably have a decent chance here, but so that's the knockback strat and knock him away. About the pancake strat. Pancake strat seems to be working pretty well. Well, the problem is if he hits me, I lose most of my health. And that's with him using the. If it wasn't for the fact that he has a stamina ring, I'd probably just screw off and I wouldn't bother. But I really want a stamina ring. Pancakes seem to be working pretty well though. I gotta be careful with my spacing. do I have? Do I have anything else to heal with? What about this guy's magical resistances? Let me see. There's my, uh, I want you to reset. Oh wow, 160? Okay, all right, we got this now. 81 per pancake? Oh shit, motherfucker, you healed. Yeah, this isn't, all right. Um. see something here. Do I have that? What is that ring called? The defense rise. I don't even have it. Yeah, I would need to do the hyper mode thing to, to get through this. Either that or level up. Maybe I just come beat his ass on New Game Plus. Either way. 
the old king isn't, um, dude's thick. It's thick as shit. What's funny is I feel like if I was playing a magic build, just seeing how much damage, uh, how much extra damage I got hitting him with the sticky white stuff, I feel like I'd probably mess him up. But damn, that dude is, he just, he's tanking. Well, that doesn't make sense, because like half my sword's damage is magic, but he just ignores me. He doesn't even care. Just like, nah, I'm unkillable. Take your sword and fuck off. Like, it's insane. I don't know why he's so resilient. Out of sword, though. Anyway, let's wrap this on up. The second attempt was feeling good until he decided he was going to heal, and then it just all went downhill. All went downhill very fast. I even need on. So let's keep that on. Let us proceed below to its lair. I really like what they did with the place. Can't really see well. You have been chosen by the old one. Will you seek the everlasting demon souls? Or has the monumental blinded you? Whatever your choice, surely you have seen for yourself the pain and suffering that fills this world. This is the real King Alan. So created the old one. A poison went to the poison. The old one will feed upon our souls and put an end to this tragedy. Final boss of the game. And he's basically the original, uh... The original Miss Noble. Sword should be here, Eridus. Let me see, can I go back this way? I won't. Alright. Well, we have Soul Brant and Demon Brant, so we can make Northern Regalia a new game plus now. Thy work is done. Slayer of demons, go back above. You thought? <laughs> ah! The old one senses a new and powerful demon by its side. And before long, the world will be engulfed by the deep fog. The deepest fog. Bring more souls. A 
I had to hit him with it just to see the people in the comments being like, Waifu, no! <laughs> you stepped on her head, cowboy. Why'd you do it? Oh, man. I love the bad guy ending in this game. Anyway, let's. I'm going to do a mini review here. Not a full review. I don't think this game needs a full review because it's, it's Demon's Souls. The game's known. Um, I love this. This is great. There's like minor, minor things that I would update. Um, but like, honestly, every complaint I have is like very nitpicky, like it's either nitpicky or it's, it's wishing for extra stuff. Like from a standpoint of remaking a souls game, I was so worried about this. Cause like we saw footage, but like we didn't see, like there was no reviews going out early. There was no real gameplay. It was just like little dev clips that we saw. The interviews were, ah, oh, the cat, the cat's in the, oh, that's awesome. That's the old uh, cat ring icon. That's funny. But, um, no, yeah, this, this completely hit the mark. This is everything I would hope for from, for a, you know, a remade journey. This is amazing. Like this literally brings demon souls and it brings that experience to a new generation of players that didn't get a chance to play it on PS3. Um, you know, like the, the the game is, it feels like Demon Souls. It plays like Demon Souls. Even the shitty falling off ledge parts, it's still there. All the the bullshit that you remember from the original is alive and true. Um, now, obviously, some stuff like the the dupe glitch that isn't around anymore, and you can't just shoot through the fog to kill certain bosses anymore. But like. The, the Demon Souls experience is 100% here. So, um, in terms of, of my gripes, I, I have a, a few minor gripes. Uh, Blue Point, if you're listening. Uh, when we backstab enemies, and it's a backstab and repost for that matter, when we get a, a multi-hit attack, uh, I would like to see the damage spaced out over all hits of the attack, as opposed to just one chunk of damage, and then we continue to hit them. I think that would be a, a nice change. I think it would look more fluid. Um, I would also like it if we had a, uh, a Dark Soul type thing or a Dark Sign type thing just so we can kill ourselves fast and easy at the Nexus and then I can go back to invading people. That would be a, a very small, small quality of life change. Uh, we have the thing that teleports us back to the Nexus, just some kind of suicide thing. It's in all the other Souls games. I think you could add it here. I don't think anybody would mind if you did. It'd be awesome. Um, I like how you, you updated your tendency icons, but they could still be a little more clear. Um, like the difference between minus one and plus one and zero is very minimal. Whereas plus two and minus two are, are clear, and the plus threes, plus three and minus three, those are clear because they're like dark with red glows and, and pure white with glows around it. Uh, but the minus one, minus twos, those could those could use a little bit of work. I mean, hell, you could even just, uh, I don't know if you want to add numbers in, maybe maybe make, put like little dot scales. It would make it a little more clear for players. I think it would be nice. Um, respects, can we please have respects? I mean, we got to pay 25,000 souls for that st statue, and you let us change our appearance and our name, but not pick a different starting class or stats. Like, I'll be honest, I feel a little robbed there. All the interviews you did for this game, you said that respects were in the game. Nobody is talking about changing their appearance. Respect refers to re-specializing, re as in rearranging our stats and making a different build. Uh, recustomize. Recustomize was maybe the term you're looking for. So, to be frank with y'all, I think uh, you suggesting there was respec in all the pre-game interviews was a little bit disingenuous, uh, and I hope you rectify that by adding it into the game. And we would appreciate that. Um, beyond that, yeah, this is just a good time. This is a, uh, this is a good time. I had fun. Oh, King Dorian's a bitch. <laughs> Dorian, excuse me. Dorian, not Dorian. I got Dorian on the mind. Anyway. Um, what else? What else? I don't know if I have any other gripes, really. Oh, oh. Worldwide invasions. Like, if I invade from Tower of Latria, let me invade 
three one three two three three like any of them I think that'd be that would just be like a nice quality of life change you know because invaders I'm not necessarily looking to invade in just three one I'm just looking to fight I'm looking to fight people I suppose I could see that argument going either way some people may be like I only want to invade this one particular zone but um or, you know, make it like a scale system. Like, if I can't find somebody in 1-3, then open it up to 1-2. I don't know. I like invasions. Sometimes it's a little sad. Or or even better than that, have have a way, uh, kind of how they did in Dark Souls 3, where, like, if I go and I look at a... When we're at the, the Nexus and we're looking to warp, if a zone is, like, heavy on phantoms at the moment, or heavy on a... Human players at the moment have like a glow around the name or something so that either the the blues or the reds know like oh this is the hot spot where people need help or this is the spot where I can go invade I think that'd be nice you know just a way to, to promote community interaction and that's you're not really changing any core mechanics of the game there so that would be a uh, I think a, a pretty low impact change uh, that you could do based on, on player count anyway Soul of the Old One, Red Eye Stone, Soul of the Lost, withdrawn. and the cycle begins again. But anyway, we are going to wrap this one up here. Um, as for where we go from here, uh, the Let's Play is wrapped up, but I still have the prep streams to do, so I'm going to continue working on the prep streams for a while. Um, as well as getting the walkthrough started. The walkthrough will most likely start tomorrow, actually. Um, I'm not going to be doing it nearly as fast as this, maybe an episode or two per day. Obviously, that's all dependent on how much we get done during the prep live streams. Um, but the walkthrough will be a lot, a lot better paced. The episodes will be very concise and focused on loot and strategies and all that good stuff. Uh, so either way, thanks for coming along. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this journey. I know we played the game last year, but seeing it as a remake was pretty damn good. So thanks for watching. As always, appreciate the support on all this stuff. And I will catch you all next time with the walkthrough.